Okay, you are fanatics. Welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. Hey, a lot of you guys are asking, BYD, how do I get those insects out of my Bermuda lawn? BYD, how do I get them out of my lawn, period? It doesn't have to be Bermuda grass. It can be any grass. And can you do it without making a 20-minute video? <laughs> Stay tuned. You're watching Bermuda Grass Central, changing the world one yard at a time. Hey, Yard Fanatics, BYD is aiming for a 10 minute video, so it may seem a little rushed, but you guys requested it, no more 20 minute videos. Well, I'm not gonna say no more, but not this one. All right, guys, look, first thing we gotta do, and by, before I even start, listen, you know I love Spectricide products. Spectricide is not a sponsor of BYD. I use the products because I believe in them, in them and they are, are affordable for the home owner, all right? You pro landscapers, you may go out and get buy other kinds of chemicals, but for the average homeowner, you need something that you can go in the store, get, and you can afford. All right, so check it out. Look, basically what I'm doing, I'm gonna treat this, and by the way, make sure you get some gloves before you start handling, handling those chemicals. We're gonna treat this side, still having that ryegrass issue. You can see it, grass is still coming along great. All right, the back, we actually went on ahead and did, um, because we had a, a little function going on this weekend. So I went ahead and took care of that part back there. That was already um, treated with the chemical to kill the bugs. Guys, and as we come around the house, we're also gonna treat this side right here with the um, spectricide insect control, all right? So let's just go ahead and get started. Fanatics, look, this is gonna be a one, two, three, four part step, all right? This is, one of the best ways you could prevent the bugs from coming in your house and around your house and out in your lawn. All right? You know you can get lawn damage from all kinds of insects, grubs, crane flies, um, ants, uh, fire ants, uh, mole crickets. It's a million and one bugs, all right? But we're gonna use a basic formula that's gonna cover pretty much the major bugs that's in your yard. Now guys, you'll, you'll don't sit here and try to find out exactly every bug that's in your lawn and then you're trying to find a product for it. The best way is most of these manufacturers have what you need in it. Treat your lawn, then worry about that later. But generally, when you hit it with this stuff right here, you're getting rid of insects. Now, I do get that question, BYD, will this kill um, earthworms? I've read stuff that says it does. I read stuff that said it doesn't. Now, when I use it in the past, when I hit it with some Milo, even though I switched over to purely organic, Milo bring worms. Every time I put that stuff down, I get worms in my yard. So that question is debatable, but if you're concerned about it, you may want to deep dive into spectricide.com and maybe they'll have an answer for you. But listen, the first thing we're gonna start with, step one, spray the perimeter the border of your house this for inside and outside we're just gonna worry about the outside now spray that on the outside and i'll just give you a little glimpse then we'll hit it with a mound destroyer if you have mounds in your lawn that works great and i have an awesome video that you can click on i'm not going to show you necessarily how to do it but i have a video that me and byd jr did a while back and it works good and this you apply this all over the lawn just like fertilizer that right there you can spray this as a protected barrier or around your house to, to help reinforce what you've done right here all right so we're going to go ahead and get started and i'm going to show you how to use this okay you are for next before before i start let me go ahead and show you what i'm using i'm using the, the easy spray now the easy spray has a trigger on it that's battery operated i don't know if you guys can see that doing this by myself but basically you just put it on either stream or wide spray, squeeze the trigger, and you'll see it come out like that, all right? First thing we need to do is go ahead and treat the border of your windows and whatever else you want to do. And all you basically do, guys, is just spray it. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. You see all these cracks right here? Spray it up in there. All right? Same way, all the way around. Spray it in the cracks. Spray it down. 
at the border, even though you probably can't see it, but you spray down there. Guys, make sure you wear a mask when you're doing this. I don't have one on right now because I'm filming by myself, but you can't see all the way up there, but you spray it up there too. Stand back so it doesn't get in your mouth. Hey guys, just like spraying the border of your house right there. You see, I got the easy spray. See, I'm spraying it down at the border. I'm spraying it in the window seals. Down at the border. the window seal again hopefully you can see it and guys you basically you go all the way around your house and you do your border like that all right all the way down do the border any place that you think bugs will get in all right that's step one there you are fanatics so look step two basically all we're gonna do is cut that open pour it in there know your square footage this one bag treats up to, let me show you real quick. Treats up 12,500 square feet. I will tell you this, when you're spraying this stuff, you're gonna want it to come out like fertilizer and you basically see it everywhere, but it doesn't take much. Spread it according to the manufacturer's square footage, right? 12,500 square foot. If you go over, it's not gonna hurt. So in other words, if I do 10,000 square feet with 12,5, you're still going to get a good put down, all right? Read the directions before you apply it, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. But basically, let me show you how to go ahead and apply it. First, we've got to cut it open. Right. <clears throat> Make sure you got your gloves on, your mask if you got one. I'm going to put it in this Let's Go spreader. And like I said, it, it's, it's not like fertilizer and it's real big or anything like that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, I poured that in there and it really didn't even fill it up, but that's what it looks like. Our next step is to go ahead and apply it to the lawn, just like we are applying fertilizer. Fertilizer settings are on the bag, but if you don't have them, that fertilizer, you're gonna have to, <laughs> excuse me, learn how to calibrate your spreader, all right? I have an awesome video for that. You can click on that and you can learn how to calibrate your spreader. But let's go ahead and apply it to the wall. To do the strip, if you, if you have a Scott Wiz, that works just as good. Like I said, do it from the outside to the inside. And you see how nicely pressure washed my curb, sidewalk, my driveway is compared to everybody else. Click on that link above to see about that Simpson 3200 PSI, 2.5 gallons per minute pressure washer. All right, guys, and look, same thing here. Just take it and you do. Strip. Now, if you don't have a whiz, I will show you another way of doing it. And that's why my, the, the um, pressure washer was sitting on the grass and the exhaust burning. All right, and you just go all the way down and do your strip like that. All right, that's part right, of step. So now, two. this is this is actually step three of the process. All right, and like I said, this is not a process that Spectricide came up with. It's something that I came up with, and I don't have any bugs. I'm just going to be real with you. Once I apply this, once I start seeing activity, the whole process, I don't see any bugs for at least three months. All right, really longer than that. But let me show you this real quick. All right, I'm going to set this down. <clears throat> I'm not going to do a video on this because I've already done one. I want you to click on that link, guys. Watch that video in its entirety so you can truly understand how this product works. But basically, we create a barrier around it. Then we sprinkle stuff on it. We water it in. And we watch them die. All right? Generally, you'll get a burst of ants trying to run up out of it. Then it'll subside. And the reason we went ahead and did the entire yard because we... What, what, what I'm trying to do is find those mounds, but once you treat the whole entire yard, then you hit the mound 
and you water that stuff in, they have a hard time escaping. That's part three of the process. Click on the link and you'll see it. All right, let's go to step four. This is the last step, step four. And what, what you're seeing here, this is an empty one. All right, I use this in another video um, and I'll link to it and you can watch that video. It's basically showing you how to maintain your Bermuda lawn, but I use this on the lawn. All right, but what we're gonna do today, I bought this one, it was on sale for five bucks. All right, you actually get more. It's cheaper, <coughs> excuse me, cheaper than this. So we're gonna pour this over into this and we're gonna treat some areas and I want you to see where I'm spraying, all right? This is how you get total protection from these insects out of your lawn. Okay, you are for next. Basically, I'm gonna just take this knife, cut that seal open. All right. Try to balance this and just pour it in here. fanatics look this is one of the areas that I want to spray for bugs now if your neighbor's lawn is next to it I'm gonna show you another trick on the other side but areas like this pine straw beds close to the house you want to go ahead and treat those see that little small area I got right there okay and I was asked if I spray this on my hedges will it hurt in the past, I've done it, but normally when I do do that, I, I, I water it in. So I rinse it off the leaves. You may get some to still stay on there, but that stuff works for us keeping mites and crickets and all kinds of stuff off your hedges and bushes, all right? So let me go ahead and show you how I do that. Look, one of the things I don't like is they don't list the square footage on the front. Uh, if my memory serves, serves me right, I think this covers about 5,100 square feet. If you get that concentrated bottle, they say you get 25% more, so I think you can cover, if my math is right, 5,900 square feet, something like that, maybe 6,061, 6, somewhere in there. All right, but listen, this actually kills a tad bit more insects, 260 versus that bag, all right? So if you really want to get down to it, you can spray your whole yard with this and get more insect kill, all right? So let me show you how I use this. Same way with the one that's closer to the house. Like I said, I spray everything, never had an issue with it killing anything. Some guys ask me, won't your plants take up that um, chemical like fertilizer? I have no idea why <laughs> your bushes don't do that you know I, that, no idea but listen we'll go ahead and treat that area like i said i'm not the rocket scientist just showing you some tips if you don't like these tips get off the channel all right you just spray that down real good guys now remember we got the barrier against the house and now we're spraying the beds Make sure we get those insects. Like I said, this one is actually better than the granular. All right. And another thing I do, guys, I want my property, even though I treated the, the barrier with that other one, we create another barrier. That's hitting the lawn and a little bit of that wall. So when those bugs start to try to run that way, they won't make it. All right. Same way with my wooded area. I know it's bouncing around. Cause I'm not using a gimbal, BYD, nowhere to be found. BYD Junior that is. Spray your wooded area too, guys. All right, that's that's how you protect your, your berry. You can walk your whole property line and get it all the way around like that, all right? Hey, you are fanatics look one of the things i want to show you is that this hose is cheap so right around here it's leaking water now no chemicals are back flowing out of it but sometimes you have a cheap hose and you'll get a leak right there so try to make sure you got a good hose but guys it's the same thing i'm saying part of crush thy neighbor is to spray 
is to spray the property line, guys. And what that does is create, create another barrier to keep their bugs from penetrating over to your property. Now, your neighbor may all of a sudden get ant mounds left and right in their lawn, but, you know, that's just part of it. All right. And now that we sprayed that, you remember when I was talking about the whiz? If you don't have one, if you got the liquid, you can use it to do the strip also. Check it out. We got this little area right here also, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. Yard fanatics, and that's it. That's it. Basically, I showed you how to do your outside border. And like I said, that step one, you can use it on the inside and outside. It's an indoor outdoor product. All right, we sprayed the border, cut through there, did that. All right, then we came, we put a granular fertilizer all over the lawn. All right, our next step, we actually did the uh, mound scene. Step three is about the ant mound. Click on that video and you'll see me and BYD Jr. having a good time taking out an ant mound. All right. The next step, we actually came and we treated the, um, the border. Now, like I said, I did the border all the way around. All right, the areas that I have pine straw in, you saw us do that. All right, we treated that for bugs also. The ones that's closer to the house on this side. Did that also. Treated those right there. You see it? Came okay, when we treated that area. All right. And guys, your next step, granular with the Wiz, Scott's Wiz, to do the strip. All right. And on the other side, we used liquid. All right. And then you see me do crush that neighbor. We went down the property line and we sprayed the property line. There's our flowers and your last step, guys, is basically to just water it in. Okay, you are fanatics. And that's basically it. That's how you get total protection on your lawn as a homeowner. You don't have to worry about those mole crickets, crane flies. You know sometimes when you step on the grass and all those bugs come flying up out of little moths. That's gonna eliminate a lot of that stuff right there. And that's gonna cure a lot of the issues the 20 to 30% issues that you're having with your lawn for is your lawn getting ate up by um, sideworms. These insects sometimes eat the roots. They sometimes eat the top plant. Um, you'll get molds sometimes because the molds are actually digging, looking for grubs. So if you can get rid of the grubs, more than likely you can get rid of the molds that way because they're only going to stay if food is around. It's just that simple. So guys, now you know how to totally protect your lawn from insects. Guys, remember one thing. You are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, <laughs> I tried to keep it under 10 minutes, but that's not BYD.